Today, The Globalist is at a brand new art fair, Art ONO, the one and only art exhibition filled with young and interesting artists. Follow me inside to see what the future holds. Korea has emerged as one of Asia's biggest art markets alongside Hong Kong and Singapore, and Korean collectors are considered one of Asia's biggest and the most sophisticated consumers of contemporary art. While Art Basel and Freeze are considered you know, the global um, leaders in art fairs, but a new contender, Art ONO, is started by you, a young but prominent art collector, No Jae Myung, who is looking to bring a fresh and young perspective to the Korean art world. This week's Globalist, we are here at Art ONO to view the exciting works and to talk to you about the future of your show and the Korean art scene. So, welcome to The Globalist. Thank you for having me and thank you all for coming to our show, Art ONO. I think this is a kind of great opportunity to see more, especially like for young generation like mine, so they can have a like kind of look of what's the market around the world. 서울 막 크레이지부터 시작해서 점점 페어들이 늘어나고 있는 상황인 것 같은데 한국에 되게 좋은 작가님들도 많고 다양한 매체들 즐겁게 하시는 분들이 많아서 페어가 더 많아지면 많아질수록 좋을 것 같습니다. We are happy to be here and congratulations. I hear that the show is a great success and although you have a half a day left, so you know we're all knocking on wood, but so far we've had heard great reviews. I think so. We had some a lot of great reviews and I hear from galleries and collectors saying giving us positive feedbacks. Even before the beginning, I, I told galleries that our focus is not just about the market, but mm -hmm. it's also, we have a purpose of promoting local artists to international stage and international artists to the local. And also we wanted to have some balance between profit and non-profit. So it's, of course, art fair, it is a market and we do need to be performed as a market in a way, but we also wanted to include more mm. purpose. Mm. It's a lot to package into an art show. Um, we're at the, the almost the tail end. How do you feel? Exhausted. <laughs> but I really feel grateful and feel blessed that even other art fairs, I'm pretty sure, all of them, they work hard, they put so much effort, time, and cost but not all of them are getting positive feedbacks. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm really grateful that a lot of galleries and audience and institutions, they like the idea and they like the concept of us. Of course, things were sold a bit, not everything, but. I don't know if there's any art show that's completely sold out, no. It's impossible. But you, know, you, you talk about the purpose of the show and it does sound unique, but give us a little bit about why it is O and O, the one and only kind of art show. Me and my team, we felt too many art fairs are focusing on the market value, which is nothing bad. I totally understand why, and we do think it's important too. But we wanted to focus more on the quality of the programs and the quality of the artists and their works they're presenting, not on their names, not on the price, and that's how everything started. Yeah. 
So the motto is young, fresh, but classy vibe. I thought it was very interesting, but why do you select that motto? To be honest, I'm young. Yeah. And the whole team's You we're probably all young. age a lot during this this art show, but you're still young, yes. Yeah. Still <laughs> young compared to other directors, yes. other fair directors and people. But in my personal collection, I collect a lot of young artists living the same era because I personally feel like I'm more connected to um, the ones living in the same era. Of course, we're all from different countries, different culture, and different language and everything, but still I feel more connected. Mm. And five or six years ago, a lot of my collector friends and people working the art scene, they asked me why I'm paying that much money on this artist. Why not on this established artist? And I had to explain why the whole time. Mm. But since five or six years ago, people start asking where they can collect the artists and where which gallery they should talk to. The kind of artists that you are drawn to, the yes. younger ones, yeah. And that's how it all started. There is a need from gallery side to showcase their fresh artists. They usually have dozens of artists on their roster, but the galleries don't have enough platform and have enough opportunity to present their all their artists. But I'm pretty sure that there are some artists that were not presented enough, but still has great works. Mm. But most importantly, we wanted to show something nice. Mm. We wanted to show qualified works, mm. not just something young and fresh, but also has to be qualified. Yeah. So we made a slogan with young and fresh, go classy. Yeah. Young and fresh doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. Exactly. Mm. I guess the galleries, when they show at these big fairs, have to meet a certain expectation of yes. the kind of artist that they're going to bring. Yeah. Whereas you, uh, you have no expectation, only what you dictate. I, I talk to galleries, start telling them there are too many art fairs happening, mm. but I'm adding another, another one, which is a fact. Mm. But I tell them, we want to do something different. Mm. We want to showcase different names, but still quality of works. Let's say there is a gallery want to present new names to bigger fairs, but it's not easy to showcase and make the challenge. And I would say we're less risky to showcase different names and different artists since that's our concept. Among these um, wonderful artists, is there one of these young um, artists that you would like to sort of tell us about, which represents the spirit of art ONL? There was one artist that I didn't know until the opening, but there was one artist called Channing Hansen. Mm -hmm. So the artist creates a work based on mathematical algorithm. So everything's calculated and it's very mathematical, uh -huh. but it doesn't look that way. It looked quite abstract, it looked rough, but in a way, in, inside of it, inside of the work, everything's calculated. Hmm. So it was fun to see the contrast with the result and the process. You would think a mathematical product would be very, you know, staid and, yes. and, and boring, so, you know, yeah. but it's not, I guess. It's, it's not. It's not. It's wow. textile. Oh, so it really reflects a young generation's um, position and thinking in terms of how they approach things. Yes. So as a collector, I mean, you're a collector, you're very prominent collector. You've been to, I don't know, I mean, I'm probably you can't count the number of art shows you've been to around the world. Counting last year, I went to probably 15 to 20 art fairs. Just last year. Just last year. I know you talk about this, you know, this new trend, but did you really think, I mean, do I need to create another art fair? Isn't that like a question that comes up? I had that question for years, and that's why I hesitated, and that's why I planned for a long time. Because I personally didn't want to start something on my own, mm. but I wanted, to, I wanted someone else to create it, then I wanted to visit that fair. You wanted someone to create an 
the, your, your ideal yes. art show. Now that you are, and you have um, started this one, um, as a collector, do you think that positioning, you know, that experience you had of seeing so many art shows as a collector has really, is what is making your art show different? Yes, that's 100%, because I see most of other fairs, directors, they're from galleries, either gallery side or... Business they, side, yeah. Yes, but I was, I started from the opposite. So the thing that my team suffered was I told them many, many times that I want to do this, that I want to do this, and, and I want to add this to our event. Mm. But all those type of things were that we have to spend more money, spend more time, spend more effort. Mm -hmm. It's because I do care about their feeling, and I do care about the ones, the visitors, mm. and also exhibitors. Mm. Not, I don't see them as just business partners. I don't see them as tools. They're all my friends, and I want to protect, and I want to collaborate with them, not just a simple one and done work. Yeah, not just to sell. Yeah, no. It's not a business relationship kind of thing. It should be. It should but... be. And that's how most art fairs approach yes. this, their shows. But um, I think that's, that's the thing that makes the biggest difference between us and other fairs. I also hear that this art ONO um, really takes an experience type of thing um, uh, very seriously. And, and not just for the collectors, but for the general public. Um, you want to make this an experience for people just to come and visit. And it's exactly right for that because it's in the center of Seoul. Yes. How are you making this a fun um, exhibition, an art show? Of course, it is an art fair. So we wanted to focus more on art. We wanted to, we wanted people to come and see art. And of course, we have to have some entertaining stuff and food and beverage and other partners too. But I wanted people to focus much, much more on art than other things. That's why we put a lot of effort and time on walls, carpets, lights. And we also wanted to include the things that general public would like such as we have talk sessions by filmmakers, musicians, architects. So I'm the person who can survive only in art for months. That's totally okay with me. But I know in many cases that's, that doesn't work that way. So we wanted people to come and stay and enjoy. That's why we have different programs within the fair and also outside of fair. We had museum visits, we had gallery visitings, and private collection viewing, and even F&B, food and beverage stuff was, I put so much effort and time on that because I knew people would need some break. They need to eat something sweet, they need to have some coffee, tea. And maybe think about, you know, whether they're gonna buy something. <laughs> All that we wanted people to stay for longer but since we're not as big as other fairs other big big fairs so I thought we need to have a difference that's why we we have many lounges where people can stay and talk about art exchange their opinions and you'll see a lot of artists at the booth and not just local audience but we also had Many people coming from overseas, especially within Asia. Yeah. Well, that's great. I mean, that appeal of Korea in itself is also something. So as the first, as, you, as an inaugural art show, of course, the challenge is getting, you know, the right kind of galleries and artists to, to show. And you have some prominent galleries here from around the world. How do you get them to show? I mean, you obviously know them well. Yeah. But they don't know you as, as the art show founder, so how did you get them to come? I met all of them in person, and I try to explain as long as possible. And I spent some time studying about their artists and their program, and I talk to them, and I tell them how we're going to be different, and you guys need us, in a way. Mm. And um, at first, it was really tough to 
get yes from gallery side because obviously it's our first edition. So we have we had no history, we had nothing to prove. So I had to prove everything from the bottom, and I explained them the intention of the fair, the concept of the fair. But at the end, it got much much easier. But still, it was tough to get yes from gallery side. But those big name galleries. They understood us correctly in, in, in the right way, I guess. They wanted to have an opportunity to present their younger or fresh artists to the scene. And I think many of them were looking for it. They were looking for the platform, for the right platform. And then I somehow appear and asking if they want to join. I really spent so much time meeting them, talking to them, and explaining them. And thank God that we have <laughs> the right galleries. But apparently, there was that need that yes. they that they weren't it that wasn't being met by any other art show. I think so. Well, Jay has been a collector of ours for a long time, and so we're really interested in his interest in supporting institutions, mainly through a new fair. And this is our second time participating in a Korean art fair, which was really amazing. Um, we've been very interested in learning more about the Asian art market and having exposure for our artists in different cities. So at one point, we know the organizer, and uh, I know him since quite a while, and I know that he is really enthusiastic about art, and not just interested in the art market, he's really a big fan of the artists and the art. And this convinced me that this new idea of a fair will be successful. So basically we started coming to South Korea to Seoul with Chris, so we did the first two edition. And this is where we met Jay that organized Artono, and he very nicely invited us to join. And because we were developing our ties to Seoul, we decided that it was a great opportunity. Now, you're a collector, obviously the young collector. So, how did you start collecting art? And obviously at a young, at even a younger age. So my mother, she loves art, music, and all the culture. Mm -hmm. when I, since I was so little, she brought me to museums and gallery exhibitions in many different locations, in different countries and different cities. But ironically, I hated art. I was just thinking, I was just going to say, most young little boys yes. don't like that. It, it's because of we have to be quiet. We can't run away. We can't be running around. And um, I didn't like art and music at all, but I'm married to pianists. Ah, and other artists. <laughs> yes, now I collect and work in art. And since high school, I started collecting prints and editions and art toys, thanks to my friends at that time. Naturally, I started collecting with them together. I hear you have a very um, large and, and prominent collection of your own, but you know, I'm hearing that you represent an MZ generation of collectors. So-called, yes. Yeah. And because you're not, obviously, um, you're unusual in certain ways, but you, it's not unusual for a young MZ generation, in Korea especially, to collect art. Why is that? I'm curious why, too. And I, I get that question from people in overseas, press, collectors, and galleries. They want to know more about the younger generation of collectors in Korea. And I do see a lot of them in terms of numbers. Yeah. But most of them started during COVID period, mm -hmm. obviously. And I think it's because in the past, people thought collecting is for people who are privileged, mm -hmm. who has money and time. But now collecting arts is, it's becoming more like a culture in Korea. So a few years ago, I told my friends to 
go to galleries or museum exhibitions just to see art and I tell them that I collect art and they just didn't care mm -hmm. at all. But nowadays I hear from a lot of friends coming to me asking me what to buy. They want to collect something but they just don't know where and how mm -hmm. and I think now people understand the price range of art is, is big. Mm -hmm. There are some really expensive artworks, but there are some really affordable artworks. Mm -hmm. So I would say collecting art in Korea is becoming more like a culture. And nowadays I see younger generations, they obviously use online platform, Instagram, Google, so to do some research about the artists and their career. So I think that kind of boosts everything. Is that one of the things that you are also incorporating into your art show, um, catering to young collectors in terms of the platforms, in terms of online representation and all of that? There are some uh, aspects that younger generation might like more than older generations. We have a digital partner, R2, mm -hmm. and they exhibit and showcase artworks online on their website, on their application. So you can see artworks and you can possibly purchase artworks through their website or application. Now, the MZ generation in Korea um, and, and all of you know this art scene that we're seeing, is that why there seems to be like a buzz about the Korean art market globally? Do you feel that? Yes, and um, I think it's because, of course, a lot of people, they want to know more about the Korean art scene, the market, but nowadays I go to other, other countries and I see a lot of people they watch and they hear Korean thing. They want to know more about the culture, the food, drama, movie, K-pop. So I think that those definitely benefited the art scene also. Mm. Just the fact that Korea itself is becoming yes. such a cool place. Yes. Now, you're just closing your first inaugural show, but what is the niche? I mean, where, where do you see Art o and going in the future? It's still what I'm suffering from because we just we're closing our first edition and we do want to do better next year and year after, possibly 10 years after. I would say I want to keep the slogan mm -hmm. and keep our name and just be like the name, our ONO, our one and only. There possibly, there are so many art fairs are bigger than us. So many art fairs sell more expensive works than us. But I'm hoping our fair, our ONO, to become one and only style. So there could be something more fancy, something bigger, but I want people to think about us as just one and only thing. And you'll continue to, to look for that one and only niche yeah. wherever it is, year by year. Yes. Oh, that could be also sort of one of the things that's exciting about Art ONO. Yes. We want to be a help to the galleries, to the collectors, to artists, and to institutions. It's hard to say we have a mission, but we really want to be a platform where all people, not just artists or galleries, but everybody comes to us and enjoy and somehow get inspired from the event. Well, um, we're excited to see what next year's Art o and will look like and feel like and you know, what the experience will be like. And I think a lot of people will, yes. Congratulations again. Thank you. And that's it for me on this special edition of The Globalist at Art ONO. Next week, I will be back with another globalist who is putting Korea on the map. Sun Jie out.